Hi guys, welcome to Cool Artisan Lab. This is our 25th video for Laravel blogging website. And in this video, we will submit the post data from the front end. It means user can log in and submit the post. But the difference is we will only show we will only show the approved post. So if you remember, we have created the uh, setting panel in our admin uh, admin section. We have uh, we have de uh, defined that uh, if a user is auto approved or a comment is auto approved, then uh, we we will show the user or we will uh, show the comments. Similarly, we will create the uh, post auto approve in which we will uh, if post is uh, if if post auto approve value is one, then we can show the post directly submitted by the user or we will approve the that post and then it will show on the user so we will uh, we will do lots of things in this video first we need to define the page in which we will sh uh, we will create a form and a user will submit the post then from the backend if our uh, if our setting value is approved then we will save the uh, we will save one in the database else we will save the zero and we will also need to create a, a column for status okay so these things we will do in this video so let's do this so what we need to do first of all i will uh, close these tabs and i will also close this okay so now now what we need to do the first thing we will do we will create the column in our admin panel so i will open the command line and uh, we will create php artisan php artisan migrate add status to posts table okay let's run this command okay let's go to the <coughs> migration uh, this command is not defined. Let's check the command. I will go to the Laravel official documentation. I will search migrate and I'll go to the migration. And here, so this is like this command php artisan php artisan make php artisan make migration make migration and uh, then we can run this command okay so migration is created so what we will need to do we will open the we will open the database migration and we'll open the status and here we will define the table and this will be string and uh, it will be default uh, if i define the integer then the default value will be zero so i will define the integer and the status and similarly we will do this for drop uh, down method okay now let's migrate this php artisan migrate so migrate so this migration has been migrated let's re, let's go to the structure so we have one more column status and if you'll see if you browse the data then it will it will show the default value status zero uh, we are showing the post uh, we are not showing the post according to the status currently but we will show the post according to the status uh, after we will create the form when uh, if user where user can submit the post data so let's create the let's create the form so we need to we will create this method in our controller so this will be user submit post okay and here we will create function uh, save post and this will be our request dollar uh, in this method we will only show the uh, form so we will save post form okay and in this what we need to do we need to show the form 
so here we will save post form and we don't need to pass anything so let's create the resource file uh, let's create resources views and here we will create save post form dot blade dot page and in this i will copy the i will copy the data from the category uh, not category copy the data from the categories okay so i'll copy the data i'll copy a template and uh, in our in this here save post save post on the save post okay and uh, let's move this and we will hide we will move this section and we don't need pagination okay now we, here we will show the form so one more thing we need to define uh, we need to define the uh, routes and uh, we will get method and we need to define save post form and in this controller we will save post form okay now we are ready to uh, ready to show this page so let's save post form so here you can see the uh, you can see the page uh, which is empty we will add a form here one more thing we need to do we will we need to add a link when user is logged in we need to show the link that uh, the uh, add post link so here let's log in john admin or uh, not admin okay we will show the link here after the login so let's the resources views uh, front end layout okay and uh, we will show the link here so let's copy this and after the logout or not after the logout we will show the before logout and here we will show add post and this will be save post form okay let's refresh this so we have a add post when user click on this here we will show the form so let's create the form so add heading here so uh, we are defining the uh, defining the okay, we are not defining the heading menu so here we will add post okay, so this is add post uh, we don't need the row okay we will just we need to just we need the margin so we will remove this and this also okay uh, add post and now what we need to do i'll close this and uh, add post and now we will create that uh, we need to create a form and in this form we will create the table i will copy this table from the backend section because we have created the we have created a add uh, add functionality in the backend for post so we will copy this i will copy the form i'll actually copy this uh, i'll copy the this table responsive uh, table responsive div so i'll copy this div and add in this section okay so let's refresh this page and it is saying cats okay we need to pass the category because uh, when user add the post that belongs to uh, specific categories so here we will cats equal to we can also you can also take help from the your backend uh, controller so if i'll go to the post controller here we can see the uh, here we are showing the 
cat so i will pass this data so here i will pass this data okay let's refresh this page so now we are we can add the post uh, from this section category one title one okay so i will also take the reference from this uh, store method i will copy this whole the thing because i don't want to recreate this all the functionality because we have created this functionality already in our backend section so what we will do we will create another method and here we will create save save data and we will create function save post data and in this we will request pass request instance and we will add this okay and uh, uh, we are fetching the post and we will redirect on the we will redirect on save post form okay data has been added we, will, we can show post has been added and one more thing we need to do we need to define the status uh, and we also need to define the we also need to define the uh, user id because in admin we have defined the zero but now we are uh, adding the data from the front end so we can add user and here we can add the id okay so so let's and one thing more we need to add we need to add the status so here we will go to the let's uh, let's define the default status let's define the default status zero because if you add the data from the backend then it will show the error so i will define zero okay so this will this will not create the error when you add the data from the admin uh, we will uh, do this uh, via migration also but i forgot that uh, okay so now we need to uh, we can we can do this via post status and now the status will be depend on the depend on our setting okay so we didn't create the uh, post setting that uh, post will be auto approve or not but by default we will add let's add one by default we will add one that is status is true whenever user will add then it will uh, we, we will show the post we will show the that post and uh, here when we will update this then we will update this code also okay so now we are uh, setting the status default one so let's see that code is uh, working or not and uh, and the first and the one more thing we need to define the route we need to define the route post and this post will be uh, the route will be same but the method will be different this save post data and here okay and uh, we are now we are able to save the data when I mean, we need to, we also need to change this so we can change this with, with this if you have any query any question any improvement or anything whatever in your mind then please add in the comment section so now go to the say post and let's try to add so post title 3 and the thumbnail will be uh, let's this add and uh, fifth one is detail this is post title 3 detail and the tag will be post title 3 post title 4 submit so it is saying that trying to get property id of non object so what we need to do we need to define here we need to define here user id okay so let's let's try to refresh this page views does not have a default value okay we also need to define the default okay so what we will do here we will define the change 
and we will define uh, zero for this. Let's refresh this and continue. So post has been added. Okay. Now let's go to the home page, and you can see here we have a post. And uh, let's uh, change the pagination so we can show now to and uh, here we will do and uh, the, this okay so this is also post okay so now user can add the data from the front end okay so we will also create the front end panel for the user so that the user can uh, manage the manage the post that how many post he has been added so we will create the uh, front end panel for the user uh, in this video uh, we are uh, we have seen that uh, how we can add the data from the front end functionality we have add the feature in our project so i hope you will enjoy uh, you have enjoyed this video and uh, like this video so please uh, subscribe this channel and uh, thanks for watching this video thank you so much